Hi, this is Tom Olszewski with Caldwell Banker and Team Olszewski. Time is flying by this year and we are all done with the first half of 2019. This is the Murrieta Real Estate Market Update. So in this video, I will be providing detailed updates on how the Murrieta Real Estate Market ended up for the first half of 2019 overall, and to give you some insight on what the experts are saying the rest of 2019 real estate market will be looking like. Murrieta Real Estate Market remains steady and is still in a seller's market, just not a crazy seller's market like we saw in the spring of 2018, but still strong with only 3.4 months of inventory and homes on average selling in about 40 days if priced right. As I had stated previously, if anything, it's a better market to buy and sell. Let's see how the overall real estate market looked for the first half of 2019 overall and take a look at this last month year over year. So how is the 2019 uh, market shaping up so far? Basically, it continues to be pretty steady as we go. We have seen the usual uptick in activity this last quarter as we typically see at the prime time for real estate. It should be very similar to what we saw the last quarter in 2018, the experts are saying. Inventory is, ri is rising slightly, but days on the market has been decreasing as there are still buyers out there looking to buy, especially with the low interest rates. So let's see what the detailed numbers look like here in Murrieta. First, we will look at the closed sales in Murrieta at the end of June. At the end of June 2019, there were a total of 259 close sales in the city of Murrieta of all price ranges and types of homes. This compares to 258 close sales at the end of June of 2018, which is a slight year-over-year -year increase of about 0.4%. The number of sales had peaked this year so far in May with 278 homes sold. The two biggest segments that had declining sales are the 700 to 899, it's down 20%, and the under 400,000 down 3.8%, just not that many homes anymore under 400. And the biggest surprise came in the over 900,000 price range as this segment has previously struggled but had seven homes selling at the end of June and was actually flat year over year at 0%. Next, we will look at the number of active listings. I'll have a slide on this to show the spike of listings. As of the end of June, there were 682 active listings in the city of Murrieta, which is down slightly from 695 the previous year, but it's just down 1.9%. Uh, this number has climbed slightly all quarter long, and except for the over 900,000 segment, that was down at 3.8% year over year. It is important to understand these numbers, so if you want to sell your home, it has to look great to get top dollar with the additional competition that we have these days. We can help with that, and if you go out to our new video blog, I have a video covering what top five things you can do to get top dollar when you sell. The next important number we will look at is how many months supply of listings do we have in Murrieta? This along with the number of sales indicates what type of market we have today. Where are we ending up this first half of 2019? Are we still in a seller's market or was there a shift? Well, the data today shows 3.4 months of inventory available for buyers at the end of June. With the neutral point being six months, we are definitely still in a seller's marketplace overall. Again, just not a crazy seller's market like we had the first and second quarters of last year. Because of the diverse types of property we have here in Murrieta, there is a difference depending upon what segment you are interested in. The two bookends of opposite ends of the spectrum 
are the under 400,000 segment that only has 2.4 months supply, making it for a very tight segment for buyers. And the other end of the spectrum is the over 900,000 segment, and that now has 15.8 months of supply, which is actually down 16.4%, still making this segment a very strong buyer's market. If you have questions about your specific neighborhood or home, please give me a call or send an email and I can give you specifics for your area in Murrieta and home. Are home values still increasing here in Murrieta? Well, the medium sales price for June in Murrieta overall is 434,990. This compares to the beginning of 2019 that where the medium sales price was 415,000. This shows a slight increase of 0.8% year over year. Again, it is important to know that this combines all types of homes and price points. This overall number has a big dependency with how many lower priced homes and how many higher priced homes sell during the quarter. The biggest segment drop was the 700,000 to 899 segment, decreasing 15.9% year over year. The over 900,000 segment actually had an increase of 14.3%. It is different for different areas within Murrieta with a large number of brand new homes, estate homes, and older homes. Housing growth will still maintain a 3.74% growth rate for the West Coast in 20, for the remaining of 2019, the experts are predicting. And even if we should see an economic slowdown in 2020, um, home values are still predicted to increase in value of about 2.8%. So just to show that the market is still strong here are the numbers pertaining to the percentage of sales price to the original list price. Homes overall in Marietta sold at 98.9% overall, down slightly by just 0.3%. In general, I'm, not, I'm seeing that if a home is not in great shape, it's going to sell for less. There is enough inventory now where buyers have a choice every home regardless of the year built, has a completely updated price and a needs work price are somewhere in between. The next number to be aware of is the number of days a home stays on the market before selling. For Murrieta at the end of June, that number was 37 days. This number reflects just a 19.4% increase year over year. This is the difference between the lower inventory we had last year and more homes on the market this point in the year. The last item I wanted to quickly provide an update on is how our mortgage rates are currently looking. Rates have actually decreased again at the midpoint of 2019. Recent rates are floating around 3.875% for 30 year fixed FHA VA is at 3.5% depending upon your lender. Down slightly again, rates have definitely not increased like the experts were thinking they would this year so far. But they are expected to raise slightly this last half of 2019. <clears throat> so if you've been thinking about buying your first home or upsizing or downsizing and need a loan this summer, is still a great time to sell and buy before rates go up. I hope this market update has been helpful. If you have been thinking about buying or selling and would like more information, please feel free to contact me directly at 951-506-5744 or email at tom at timolsuski.com. There will be a slide at the end of this video on ways to contact us. The bottom line, as I see sell, with still low interest rates and more inventory to pick from when buying. Last year, I heard from many sellers that they were worried that they couldn't find anything to buy if they sold. Some of them even tried and then took their home off the market when they couldn't find anything to buy. Now is the time to revisit this and make the move. This is Tom Olsuski with Team Olsuski and Caldwell Banker 
signing out. Make it a great day.